Well, first of all, thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it on this fine Friday morning. I hope everyone's having a great morning or day so far. Today, we're gonna to be talking about using On One Portrait AI and On One Photo Raw 2021 as a plugin through Adobe. So we're gonna be using Photoshop and Lightroom, and then we're gonna be taking our photos into Portrait AI and Photo Raw 2021. So the first scenario I wanna talk about a little bit is with portraits. Portrait retouching is a very popular thing these days. You really have to retouch portraits to deliver them to a client or they're gonna be like, what are you doing with my portrait and it's not retouched. So with On One Portrait AI, it allows you to go in and find all of the faces in your portrait and retouch them automatically for you. So you don't have to identify any facial features or go in and mask anything on your portraits. You can basically slide filters and it will retouch your image for you. So inside on one or inside Adobe Photoshop, it's a little bit different to retouch a portrait. There's a lot of different things that go into retouching a portrait inside uh, Adobe Photoshop. For example, inside Adobe Photoshop right now, I have three different layers here and the most popular retouching method these days is frequency separation. It gives us that natural sort of airbrush look on skin that maintains the nice natural skin textures. So to do that in Photoshop, the first thing I would need to do is I need to create three different layers. I need my base layer, my blur layer, and then I need to create a frequency separation layer. So already I have three different layers created and I haven't even gone in and retouched my portrait. So with this blur layer, I'd have to create a blur in the scene and that would basically blur away the details in the shot and then I would use my frequency separation to incorporate the detail back into the shot. So just real quickly in a few steps, let me just show you how, how long this could take if you're not familiar with Adobe Photoshop. So with this layer, I'm just going to go blur, Gaussian blur, and we'll pull this up so we can see her face real quick. And we'll just blur it just so we can see we're removing that skin texture. So I think that looks pretty good right there. So now we've, we have our blur layer, right? So now we need to grab our frequency separation layer. We need to modify that now. So I have to modify this to my blur layer like that. Now I have to use a blend mode. So there's all these different things I have to do to get this frequency separation going. And now what I do, I have to go in and selectively apply this frequency separation to my shot. So I'll just use a lasso tool here. Like that. Let's just feather this a little bit. And then I can choose filter. We'll do another Gaussian blur. And this is where the retouching comes in. So we'll pull it up a little bit stronger. And now if I apply that to my shot, it's performing the retouching for me. So I can continue to do that. Filter, Gaussian blur. And you can see it's performing that retouching in there. So if I turn this group off, that's the retouching that we're applying. So you can see it takes a lot of time to go in here and apply this retouching and it takes a bit of time to figure out how much blur you need to add in and there's all of these different layers so it can be a bit intimidating and if you don't know Adobe Photoshop it can be really intimidating to try and add on that many layers so in or uh, with on one portrait AI all we have to do is send it into the program it finds the faces and if we want to add in more retouching we can do that with a slider so let me remove this group from my shot or I'll just hide it rather I'll grab my base photograph there's no retouching applied now let's go to File, Automate, and then we'll go to On One Portrait AI 2021. It's going to take me into On One Portrait AI, which is in, inside On One Photo Raw 2021, which you can also use On One Portrait AI as a standalone application. You don't actually have to use it with po Photo Raw 2021, but it is incorporated into it, so we're gonna be using that for this demo. Okay, so automatically with this shot, I haven't done anything to it. And if I turn this portrait AI filter off and on, actually let's zoom in just a, a hair here. Like that. If I turn this off and on, it's already found her face and it's adding in a little bit of skin smoothing and retouching to the shot. Well, the great thing about portrait AI is it's found all of the facial features, the eyes, the mouth, and the face. So all we have to do is pull up on sliders to incorporate retouching. I'm just gonna pull up on this retouching slider 
in this portrait eye filter. And that's basically going to incorporate more retouching into my scene. And I can control all of the different details and retouching with this one retouching slider. So if I open up my details pane here, rather than going in and having all of these different layers in Photoshop, I now have this one details area and I can just modify the sliders and it will do all of that for me. So I'm just gonna pull up on this blemishes slider a little bit and then I'm gonna pull back on the detail. And that's just gonna add in a little bit more of that frequency separation kind of airbrush look onto the scene. So now if we turn this skin retouching off and on, you can see it's doing basically the same thing that we did inside Photoshop even better, but it's doing it automatically for us. We don't have to go in and apply those different areas onto our shot. We can do this just with one filter. So I'm gonna turn it up just quite a bit so that we can see what's going on. It's through a webinar, so we just wanna make sure that you guys can see it being applied. So I'll just pull up my blemishes again and I'll pull back on that detail like that. And I'll pull up on the shine slider and that's gonna remove a little bit of that shininess from the scene. So just with you know a couple pulls on a slider, we have that amazing retouching already. And again, it finds the facial features in our, in our shot. So if we wanna add in detail or whiteness to eyes, or maybe boost the contrast in eyebrows, we can do that in an instant. So I'm gonna go down to my face here, and the face seems a little bit bright to me, so I'm just gonna pull back on this brightness slider, and that's just going to dim down the face and remove a little bit of that glowiness from the edges there. So I think that looks really great just like that. Then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go down to my eyes here, and I'm gonna pull up on the whitening to bring in a bit more whitening to that area on our eyes, and then I'll add in detail there, and immediately they're, you know, they're popping, they're much more detailed than they were before, and that's all by pulling up on a slider. In Photoshop, if we were to modify facial features, we would have to go in and mask that adjustment into our scene. We wouldn't be able to just find the face. So, really handy tool for going in and finding these facial features for you so you can just pull up on sliders and adjust everything. So, I know it's a little bit intense for the eyes, but we are in a webinar, so just so you guys can see what's going on, I'm gonna leave it a little bit higher. And then one thing we can do is we can pull up on the dark circles underneath the eyes and also enhance eyebrows. So there's a little bit of dark circles underneath her eyes here. So I'm just gonna pull this up like that. And you can see already it's removing a lot of that contrast area underneath her eyes. Then I'll just enhance the brows just a little bit like that. And now we have the mouth section. So what we can do here is we can add vibrance to lips or if there's teeth that need a little bit of whitening, we can whiten up teeth. All I'm gonna do is boost the vibrance of these lips, and then I'm gonna pull up on the brightness just a hair, like that. So now if I go up to my portrait AI filter and I turn this filter off and on, with one filter here, we've done a whole lot to our, our shot. Basically, it's completely retouched. It has that perfect frequency separation, kind of natural airbrush look, and we did it with one layer, rather than a ton of different layers like we would have done inside of Photoshop. So now that we're done, we can just click on done, and then it'll just take us right back into Photoshop, but we'll have that layer with the portrait retouching. So now if I turn this off and on here, I'm inside port Photoshop, but I have that perfectly retouched layer now. Just like that. So it saves you a ton of time inside Photoshop if you're not used to going in and creating uh, frequency separation or retouching on your own. It's a real time saver for things like that. So that's the portrait, um, how to use portraits through um, Adobe Photoshop inside Portrait AI, but let's talk about using landscapes because sometimes you wanna modify a landscape inside Photoshop, but you can't really bring that punch out or add in detail like you would normally do because Photoshop is a little bit, again, it's a little bit intimidating. There's a few different steps to creating looks inside of Photoshop rather than going inside of Photo Raw and it's one click and you can basically apply any sort of look you're going for. So with this landscape here, when it comes to modifying um, raw files inside of, a, inside of Adobe Photoshop, basically you have to open up the photograph and then you're inside of camera raw. Then you have to modify the camera raw settings and then you're stuck with this photograph here that you have to modify inside of Photoshop. Well, inside of Photo Raw, we open up our photograph, we have all the develop settings, we have effects, we have local adjustments. So what we can do here is we can grab this photograph. Let's say we're just looking to apply a, a cool text adjustment or something more graphic to this image. Well, let's go to File, we'll go to Automate, and then we'll go to On One Effects 2021. And this is going to do the same thing. It's going to take us into Photo Raw 2021, 
but it's going to bring us into the effects tab with this image now. So with this shot, I have my develop tab right here that I can use to modify the look. I'll just pull up on the shadows a little bit like that. But let's say we wanna add in contrast and add in detail. When adding in contrast and detail, if I were to do that inside of Photoshop, I would have to use multiple adjustment layers and I probably wouldn't be able to create the contrast or, micro, or the micro detail that I would create inside of effects just by using adjustment layers. So inside of Photo Raw 2021, all we have to do to add in contrast or detail is we can just add in a filter. So we'll add a filter and I can type in detail to any of these or to my search bar here and it's going to pop up all of these different filters that apply detail to my shot. So I'll just choose dynamic contrast, really amazing filter for applying detail and already just like that, I've applied a bunch of nice detail to the shot. Let's just make it incredibly strong here like that. And the great thing about all of these filters and local adjustments inside Photo Raw 2021 is that it allows you to mask and blend them. So if I wanna remove an area of this adjustment from my scene, if I wanna remove this detail from the top part, I can do that easily just by masking it out. So I'll hit M on my keyboard, I can drop this down, and now it's immediately removed that detail from my sky. And if I turn this off and on, let's just add in a little bit more shadows. If I turn this off and on, you can see it's only applied to my foreground, which makes it incredibly uh, intuitive for creating custom landscapes or scenes where you're going in and you're masking and brushing, you're dodging and burning, and you're selectively editing your image. It's a very, very powerful tool for selectively editing your shot. So let's just add on another filter here. I'll add on my curves filter. And I'll just add on a little bit of an adjustment, just like that. And now if I'm done with this shot, I can just hit done. It's going to do the same thing. It's going to take me back into Photoshop. And now I have this image right here from On One Effect. So if I turn this off and on, just like that, I have a new layer inside of Photoshop that I can work with. So now if I wanna add you know, a cool text adjustment onto it, You know, you could add on landscape or something. Whatever you wanna do graphically inside Photoshop. Like that. I don't know, something like that. But it's, it's again, incredibly powerful tool for taking images and going in and bringing out all of the creative looks that you want. You can go in and use the develop tab so you can bring out the base tonalities in the shot. You can use effects. You can use a local adjustment layer, really anything you wanna do as far as a plugin goes. When it comes to uh, photo editing, there's a bunch of different applications out there. And one of the most popular ones is Lightroom. A lot of people love using Lightroom and a lot of people have a ton of photos in Lightroom. They have thousands and thousands of images in their catalog in Lightroom. And that's awesome. The one thing we want to convey is how easy it is to stylize and add on different effects to your photograph with Lightroom and Photo Raw 2021 or On One Effects or On One uh, Portrait AI. So with, on, or with Adobe Photoshop, if I'm editing a photograph, I probably don't need to use Photo Raw 2021 to bring out the basic tonalities in my scene. I have a very powerful raw processing engine inside of Lightroom. I can bring out the basic tones right in here, pretty much similar to what I would be doing inside of Photo Raw. However, once I bring out these basic tonalities, I don't have much control over the creative aspects of the scene, or let's say adding on detail or using different filters, or even dodging and burning can be a bit more of a hassle inside of Lightroom than it is inside of Photo Raw. And the reason being is that inside of Photo Raw, basically when you create a filter or a local adjustment or even a layer, a mask is created for you so you can go in and selectively apply that and you have all of the different controls within those filters and local adjustments. So let's say I've brought out the basic tones in this shot just like this. Nothing crazy, kind of a basic look to my scene. Now let's say we want to stylize it a bit, you know, bring out more of the creative look we were going for with this shot. What we're going to do is we're going to take that into Photo Raw and it's going to be so much easier to bring out creative styles than it is inside of Lightroom. 
because we have so many different filters and they're all maskable and blendable. So I'll go to File. I'm going to go to Plugin Extras here. And then I'm going to go down to On One Photo Raw 2021. And I'll just choose On One Effects. And that's going to take me, the similar to what uh, Photoshop did, it's going to take me into On One Photo Raw 2021. It's going to bring that photo up inside of the Effects tab. OK, so with On One Photo Raw 2021, we probably don't need to access our Develop tab because we have a similar tab inside of Lightroom, right, to bring out our basic tones. But we don't have an effects tab inside of Lightroom. We don't have a portrait tab, and we don't have a local adjustment tab. We have local adjustments, but they can be a bit uh, more difficult to apply. So in here, let's say I want to add on detail to my shot. If I want to add on detail and make my scene pop, I can do that really quickly just by clicking Add Filter. And for this shot, let's use our HDR Look Filter. Boom. Just like that, if I turn this filter off and on, does an awesome job of adding in that HDR look and really bringing out the detail within the scene. And again, I can mask this out from anywhere in my shot just by using my masking tool. So I'll hit M on my keyboard, and I'm going to remove this from the sky because if I zoom in here, it looks a little bit crunchy up there. So I'm going to hit M on my keyboard. I'll drop this down to remove that from the sky, and then it immediately alleviates all of that crunchiness from my background. So turn this off and on. I've already brought out all of the details and I've selectively applied it in seconds. So it's incredibly intuitive when it comes to applying creative looks or stylizing with uh, different detailed filters or really any filter because you can add it on with one click and you can modify it with any of the masking tools. So now let's say we want to add on a local adjustment to bring in a little bit more darkness to our foreground and dim it down a bit. I can literally just hit local adjustment here it's automatically set to my darken. So I'll, I'll do the same thing I did before, but I'm going to use my adjustable gradient. Shift K on my keyboard. I'll drop this down. Voila. I've immediately dimmed down that foreground in an instant with that local adjustment. So I've turned this off and on. Just like that. It's removing a lot of that bright green area from my scene and leading the viewer's eye right into the church here. So now let's say we want to just add on a bit more color. I'm just going to go into my effects tab. I'll add a filter. And let's add the color enhancer filter. Now I can just add on saturation as I please. I'll just boost the saturation actually quite a bit. And I'll warm it up quite a bit as well. But again, but again I don't want that applied to my foreground. So I can hit M on my keyboard. I'll drop this down. I'll flip it around. And now that saturation is only applied to the middle area in my shot, just like that. So if you're looking to selectively apply adjustments or mask on filters, uh, Photo Raw 2021 is definitely the tool for that. And now that I've modified that image, I can just choose Done, and it's going to take me back into Lightroom. There we go. So if I go to my photographs now, now, I can see in Lightroom, I have that edited image. 